everyone today i am going to be going over products that i have repurchased this year i actually had more than i thought so i narrowed it down to about i think seven items is what i ended up going with but if you've seen some of my previous videos and haul videos and empties and things like that you'll kind of get an idea for maybe a few other products that i may not mention in this particular video i have my little basket here of some products and we aren't going in any particular order here i am not going to be mentioning any like cotton pads body wash uh body scrubs body lotions things like that i did repurchase a lot of those and i had quite a few on my list but to narrow it down, I decided to stick with just skincare and makeup items. So that's what we're going to be going over today. I will start with a makeup item, and this is the MAC Fix Plus Setting Spray. And this is actually a, an unopened box, but I have gone through a full size of these, and I did make this second purchase this year as a backup. I actually really like this product, and I think that this will be a product that I will continue to have in my collection and continue to repurchase when they go on sale and then have a backup that way. That's what I did with this one as well. But yes, I really like this product. I've gone through a full size and actually a mini size at one point. I think that was like a couple years back. But yeah, so now this is kind of a must have in my collection. Next is this Garnier Micellar Water. And this is the red cap or pink cap, but there's also a blue cap and I've gone through both and I've repurchased them both. I've also gone through like mini sizes, smaller sizes. Um, you'll see kind of everything that I've gone through with skincare and makeup in some upcoming videos. I'm gonna go through like a full year empties kind of a thing. Um, and you'll see like multiples of these. So. I've been through so many of them, I've purchased a couple of them this year, and I really like them. It's something that I will continue to repurchase, and it's, it's just, it's a favorite of mine. I love it. I love it for my face. I love it for taking off my eye makeup. It does a really good job. Um, I could even, if I needed to, use it in place of what I would use a toner for. I don't think I really have a preference whether I like the blue cap or the pink cap better. I'll get whichever, and I think this is another product that i will probably continue to have in my collection at all times currently i don't have an unopened or opened one um they're all empties that i have of this product right now but i will eventually purchase more of these i know i will i'm just trying out a couple of different other products right now switch it up and go to a hair product so this is the hask chia seed volumizing dry shampoo and i don't use dry shampoo that often i really don't i just use it um when i feel like i need it which is maybe like a couple of times a month handful of times here and there and this is a product that i have purchased previously and used up a full size this year and then ended up purchasing this full size this year as well um, as another dry shampoo i think right now i only have two this one and a smaller one and so I wanted to make sure that I had something in my collection. I think this is something that I will continue to fall back on. It is relatively inexpensive and does a really good job, but I also would like to try out some more different dry shampoos because I just haven't tried that many different ones. Um, so it's something that I'll probably rotate in and out with different, different ones that I'm trying, but it's something I will probably go back to here and there. These pimple, <laughs> patches i have been really enjoying these i kind of discovered them this year like i had a pack i think the exact same pack possibly of these and i used them up this year and i think that they work great to wear underneath of a mask especially since the mask is giving me the acne they're easy to conceal they're e even not that visible regardless of wearing a mask or not like i'll even wear these out without wearing the mask um like if i'm going for a walk or something like that and no one's really gonna say anything i probably wouldn't wear these maybe to like work it would probably be a little bit more noticeable there but um if i'm just out and about i'll, I'll pop one of these on uh yeah 
it, it, it's not like blatantly obvious but if somebody did like look real close obviously they're gonna see them on your skin but they work good um i won't say they get rid of it right away but it does help and i appreciate the fact that it is just easy i can even put these on like at night and leave them on overnight and then it helps the pimple a little bit more i don't usually wear makeup over them i don't think that they work the best that way i did repurchase these is what i'm trying to say i repurchased these again like another pack of these this year and i've already started using them this pack comes with what does it come with um let me kind of actually just open this up and show you but each sheet has like different sizes on it depending on the size of your pimple you can use a different size patch um, and things like that so these are great i like them they're nice to have on hand i wouldn't say they're an absolute must but like i said they're a good go-to if you have seen pretty much any of my other makeup skincare beauty videos you'll have probably have heard me talk about this product um, this is the Clinique Moisture Surge 72 Hour Auto Replenishing Hydrator. I think they actually changed this and now it is 100 hour or, or something like that, like the number changed on it. But I think it's essentially the same exact thing. I went through, I feel like three or more of these, like emptied them this year. And I've also repurchased some of these this year. So I go through this a lot, especially during the spring and summer that's kind of when I prefer to use this product. So I will always have one of these on hand. I love, love, love this product. It's a holy grail for me um, and I highly recommend it. I know not everybody loves it, but I sure do. So uh, yes, a must have. will always have one of these in my collection at all times. Another one that I have used up and repurchased a couple of times this year, I think this is my second one that I have gone through. I don't currently have one of these that's full or that I'm using. They're both empties, um, but this is the Lancome Bifacil uh, Double Action Eye Makeup Remover, and this works really well. I do really enjoy this. It is a little bit pricier, so I usually buy it when it's on sale, but I also like to try out different makeup removers and kind of see what I like. Um, I don't think this is like an absolute have to have, but this is kind of like when it's on sale, a little, a little splurge item that I like to get and I do think works very well at taking off my eye makeup. So this is a good one and one that I did repurchase quite a few times this year. All right, we're gonna wrap this up and I'm gonna go in with my last product. And this is kind of a, a product where, like, I kinda didn't want it to be in this video, but honestly, I have purchased it a couple of times for the very reason of getting free shipping at Ulta. And if you've seen my other videos, you probably know what I'm about to say. It is the Neutrogena Makeup Remover Cleansing Towelette. Yes, and it's almost always the the little travel size pack because I'm just trying to spend a buck or two more <laughs> to get that free shipping. Um, that being said, the reason why I purchased these ones is because they work well. The Neutrogena ones have been one of the few that work very well for me. I've tried a couple of different ones and I just think this takes off the makeup the best. It doesn't really scratch your face. It stays moist sorry for that word um and you know in a pinch these are amazing they're wonderful i obviously use them i obviously have those situations where i just i have to use these and i've gone through them quite a few times at least two three maybe even more and i've purchased them a couple of times throughout this year um you know it's just it's it is honestly good to have on hand for those situations so uh, yeah, this is one of the, the ones that I have repurchased quite a bit. So those are my seven items. I just wanted to go through a few of them with you because you will see a ton of my skincare and makeup empties coming up hopefully soon in an upcoming yearly empties video. But I just wanted to kind of go through and thought it was kind of interesting when I was going through my products, my... Um, makeup that I had purchased this year, my empties that I have finished this year, and going through everything and then just kind of seeing what products 
I, I really do purchase a lot, I really do use a lot, and it was just very interesting to see. Uh, a lot of it was the body care, the body scrubs, the body wash, um, my cotton pads, things like that. Uh, body lotions, like I went through a lot of that. And I also repurchased a lot of the same ones. But I just thought that maybe that wasn't as interesting. But it was interesting for me to see and kind of look back at to see what I am using a lot of. Uh, maybe I just need to start buying in bulk in those items or maybe I just need to always look out for those items when they go on sale because I know that I will use them. If you have any products that you have found out that you use all the time, regularly, continually repurchase the same things because whether you like them so much or because they just are so handy and useful to you that you go through them let me know down below what that product is for you i hope you guys enjoyed watching this have a wonderful amazing day and enjoy your holiday season don't forget to like and subscribe for more bye